What's up, y'all? This is your boy Ross. Here to tell you about my new video blog that's coming out in September. Proceed with caution. Giving you my opinions on various topics, and hopefully it'll be something you can feel. I got a question for y'all, Christians out there. If any of y'all find it hard lately to pay the bills, have any of y'all really been struggling just to make ends meet? If so, get your paper up, man. What's wrong with you? How you gonna claim the name of Jesus, but yet you broke? It makes no sense. How you gonna claim that God will supply all of your needs? But yet you got a raggedy car. I can hear your muffler because it's not fixed. All the way down the street. Man, get your money up. That's my message to you today, man. And you see, when you're a Christian, a real Christian with real faith, you got this. You see this? This is money. The Bible says, God will supply all of your needs. And as you can see, God supply all of my needs. Because I need money. Forget all this, let's be broke Christians and we happy and all this type of stuff. No, man. God needs to supply your needs. And your soul supply mine. I was witnessing to this one guy about three weeks ago. And he was an atheist. And he was telling me, I don't believe in the, oh, the theory of the God. I believe it's just a figment of uh, Christie's imagination to make themselves feel better about life and the inevitability that everyone is just going to die one day. I said, listen, man, it's proof of a historical Jesus. It's proof that the Bible is reliable. He said, oh, I don't believe that, sir. I said, man, you are in doubt. You need to have faith, man. He said, okay, prove to me as a God. I'm going to give you one more chance. If you can't prove as a God, then our conversation is over. I said, all right, man, I'm about to prove to you about a God. You know what I did? Pulled out that paper on him, sir. This is a hundred stacks. I said, sir, you can have this hundred stacks. Started to make it rain on him. <laughs> know what he did? And this is powerful. He said, what must I do to be saved? Woo! What must I do to be saved? All because I showed him the reality that you can have paper and have Jesus. And that's what we need to do, man. We need to challenge people on the power of God and money. You know what we need to do? I, I, was, I just thought of this. We need to have a make it rain line in church. That's right, make it rain line. Those of us who got money, man, Christians with real faith, just go up to the giving basket, get all that envelope stuff, man, and just start to... Make it rain in a basket. Just have money flying everywhere, man. You're going to have folks excited. You're going to have your kids excited. Like, wow, you could be a Christian and have money, man. You could be a Christian and ball. You ain't got to be like young Jeezy. You ain't got to be like Gucci Man. You ain't got to be like Rick Ross. You could be like this Christian. You could be like Ross and have that money, man. Have that paper. So my challenge, man, to you today is challenge your pastor. Challenge your pastor, Rhett, because I'm not no sexist. Maybe you got a woman pastor. Maybe your pastor is gay. Your pastor, Rhett. Say, Pastor Rhett Peaches, we need to stack some money, man. We need to have a make it rain line in church to show people that Christians can have money. And watch sinners come from everywhere, man. Instead of them spending their money in the club, watching some woman dance, they can spend their dollar in the make it rain line. Whew, pop. 
So once again, y'all, promo for my new blog, Proceed With Caution, coming in September. Kobe sucks, and I'm out.